Okay, okay. I think we are about ready. Oh, good. The, the video is working. Just that. That's nice. That, that, it's nice to know that the screen is actually working. Uh, let me swap it over. Let me make sure the so, volume's off. What are you in the mood to play? Because I don't know if it is. It, it wasn't. All right. <clears throat> Everything seems fine to me. All right, let's go. Okay. So, last time on Battle Network Six, we got we made it to Graveyard Two, only to find out another door is blocking us to get every mega, every standard chip. So that's what I was working on. All that's left now is two standard chips. One is Neovar Sword, which requires 80 bug fragments to get. The other one is Little Boiler 2, which the kettle enemy is in Graveyard 1. I did one set of bug frag grind grinding on my own time. I now have the bug fragments, but now we also, I also need another lock enemy just in case. So, and as you can see, lock enemy expires. <clears throat> so here's the plan. I'm gonna buy a lock enemy. Do I have Untrap, actually? Now that I think about it. I don't. If Untrap is cheap, I might buy one. So, but first, lock enemy. That's very important. Where's where's a subchip dealer that might have Untrap? Let me check ACDC. Because I might buy another Untrap. No, the subject dealer is up here. There we go. I can buy one. Yeah, I can buy one. I could buy two, but I'm not going to. Alright. Just wanted to make sure. Let's go to central. Alright. Now that we have one lock enemy... And we have the 80 bug fragments. We are going back to graveyard. And we gotta do... We gotta get the Neovar sword. Which is luckily right over here. So yeah, bubble wrap, mine, S. Okay, so this is a different code, but I already have T. So that's something to keep in mind. Grab revenge, which I don't have a sink. How do I? Oh right, I think grab revenge might have been from a from the chip trade sequence. So that's how I got one. But we need Neovar, Bari. There we go. I I still need Bug Death Thunder, but that's some other time. One more chip to go. Again, you can get... You can get... Uh, a Neovar Sword in Undernet 2. However, you have to be very lucky and get a gold mystery data in Undernet 2. Which, from what I understand about gold mystery data, is as soon as you enter the the net, one of the one of the green mystery datas is randomly gold, but even then, that's not a guaranteed thing. It's like a I don't know a twelve percent chance that even one of them is even gold in the first place. But if the gold mystery data is in Undernet 2, you could get Neovar in there. Alright. So 
so off to graveyard again. And I think I already have another unlocker, so that's nice. One thing I'm gonna have to pull up a list is like, we should probably start going to find HP memories and stuff soon. Okay, hold on. Uh, Navigators. Pulling like the site that I look at. Back up. I. So I was actually thinking. I still should actually legitimate, legitimately actually get Proto Man SP, right? I think I have a better idea of how to beat him. I think I do. Because part of the problem is... Uh, the, the best, my best shot is Aquaman to just hit him before he actually goes to attack me. What if I have Reflect? I'm, not for the damage, but just to protect myself. And get a little bit of damage on him. It, From what I notice... With... Uh, Aqua... Sh uh, the Mega Buster with Aquaman and Reflect... It's the same damage. I think. I think it's the same damage. So... And if he gets hit by... Mine T again. Uh, if he gets hit by the 50 damage from the Reflect, I don't think he goes invincible. Which means... I could definitely save myself later. If he goes to attack me multiple times. I think Reflect might actually be a good idea for Proto Man. Sadly, I don't have it, and I just spent my Bug Fragments. So close. Uh, yeah, I will do this fight. Uh, let's go ground. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can get them all. And we get the wrong chip. Oh well. Alright. Graveyard 1. We are looking for. Uh, sorry. We are looking for the kettle enemy. And I got some extra zenny, that's nice. I only have one lock enemy at the moment. So, even if I find the green mystery data fight, I will not use lock enemy there. I want to use lock enemy on the kettle. Which is not this fight. I've actually, during my grinding session, I actually ran into the kettle enemy like twice before finding the green mystery data fight. I did not fight it because honestly that's a something I should get on screen. But it involves the honeybee enemy, so it makes me wonder if jungle having jungle equip would be better to uh, increase my odds. Yeah, I don't don't need any of this. Uh, I don't think there's any reason for me to do this fight. I think I still need more wave arms. So if I find the level 3 enemies, I will probably try to fight them to try to get another code. I've been trying to do that. We still need a lot of money. We still need to do program advances. It's all going to take a while. Zenny, I need to go over here. I don't need to do this fight. From what I saw, it is a 2% encounter rate. So it's gonna be a bit. Okay, I'll do this fight. 
Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go ground. I think I'm gonna go Tengu to start with. But we're gonna use these. Yeah, I need to try to get other wave arm codes. Nope, not this fight. One second. Yeah, I should pull up a list of HP memories, reg ups, because we're probably gonna need that soon. Oh, gold mystery data. I actually want to look this up because I'm. I kind of want to know the information. Okay. Well, go with. Tengu, airspin two. Well, that was weird. I guess we'll go this. This might be enough. So, from okay, so from what I'm reading, uh, upon uh, for gold mystery data, upon entering the internet, one of the areas can be chosen to have the gold mystery data spawn in it. It will replace one of the green mystery datas in that area. The rates of each area. Overall, there is a 25% chance of a gold mystery data spawning in at all. So there is already a 1 in 4 chance of entering the internet that there will even be a single gold mystery data to begin with. And from what I'm understanding, Central Area 1 and 2 do not have gold mystery data. But every other area does. Okay. So I am reading that in Central Area 3, most of the time you'll probably get 10 bug fragments. Okay, so it's. Actually, how it, uh, Central Area 3, you're either gonna get 10 Bug Fragments, or you're gonna get 10,000 Zen. Th that's all you're gonna get. It's one or the other. Seaside 1, let's see. Seaside Area 1, you have a chance of getting Blast Man SP. Which I remember we got an Element Man SP, so yeah, that checks out. You also have a chance of Vulcan 3R, Spreader 3R, 10 Bug Fragments, and 10,000 Zenny. Here's the fight. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, hold on. Let's go with Tomahawk. No. Tengu. We'll use this. There we go. We got the double delete. We got Risky Honey. Alright. Time to lock enemy. Now we just need to fight the kettle. And hope we get the RNG. Alright, let's see. I think same strat is a good idea. We just got unlucky with the one and three. Okay, that worked out. Ring 10. Flash bomb 2. I don't need to reset. 
I just gotta make sure not to save. Until I get the chip. Alright, here we go. Um... Let's go this. Let's go double beast first and see how that goes. Okay, double delete. Rank 10, risky honey. Hmm, not really lucky. not to save. That's not even close. Alright, come on. Nope. I would normally try, but I can't afford to save. No, not this fight. How, I have lock enemy. How come I cannot find uh, the kettle? That's an ad. That is indeed an ad. No thanks. None of that. Do I need to just make that a rule? I don't know. Maybe I do. Here we go. Alright. Tengu. Tengu. out the way I wanted it. That's interesting. Tomahawk. Well, all that matters is the one and three. How come... How come the Kyurem has the Jolteon on the shoulder? And that's Flash Bomb too. That's not what I need. Huh. That's weird. Does it always look like that? Oh, I almost want to look. I'm blowing this up. Yes, I want to look at it. How come I can't pull it up? Lock enemy expired. Time to reset this. Did not get the chip. Okay, come on. Wow, not even the enemy. Okay. I only need one more standard chip and then we can get past the door. I would love to. Actually, you know what? I'll still go for it. Uh, I will not save, but I really hope I get the chip. <laughs> so I can keep that. Alright. I think we'll go Tomahawk. No double delete. And there it is. Little Boiler 2. That is every standard chip. Time to go open this door. And I think I might swap the boomerang back. Alright, 
let's go see what's behind this door. And I, uh, I need to come back with either Aquaman or Tengu. You can hear a voice coming out from somewhere. You who carry the mark of S, fight bravely. So I need to come back here with either Aqua or Tengu. Blue mystery data. HP memory. I had a feeling there was a HP memory back here, so that's why I haven't looked at uh, HP memories yet. And we don't we don't need any of these fights. Do I even need collect anymore now? Oh, we gotta come back with Tengu anyway. Okay. Good to know. Here lies Judge Man. We got a single bug fragment. I am keeping that. Purple mystery data. Do I not have an... I thought I had an unlocker. Well, I have to come back here anyway. I thought I had a spare. Oh, I used it. I, I remember where I used it. Okay. Oh, this sucks. It was right there. Okay. Um, we'll do this. This should be enough. Come on, I need I need the right code. We just had to go on the non-grass tile. That is the right code I was looking for. There we go. Now my folder's better. Look at that. A lot of R chips. And now I just need to do something about this. Get an airspin three, but I think I have to buy it from chip order. Uh, then I need, I want another attack plus 30 and I could buy it. I just need to use chip order again. All right, let's see. Uh, here lies element man. Molly, what are you doing? You being weird? Just making a bed. Scratching my bed. Let's see, what's going on? Uh, yeah, I don't- I really don't need to do any of these fights. Here lies Colonel. Got some Zenny. I'll check there in a minute. What's up here? I don't need to, like, do any of these fights. Oh! Big stairway. That looks important. I, I wonder if God of Destruction is written on that. There's nothing written here, Lan. That gravestone is blank. Want to know why? Th that voice! This feeling. Base? Because the name that's going on it is yours. H here it comes. Bow routine set. Execute. I'll send you to the depths of the deepest cyber pit. Alright, a rematch with base. Base SP. Let's go Tomahawk. Let's go ahead and use. Uh, let's start with my boomerangs. Good thing I already saved. Okay. Oh, I can't hit him back there. Hold on. I'm gonna set this up. I'm not gonna charge up. Because I can do that. God. Well, I'm already almost... I'm already dead. Already dead. That didn't last long. We'll try that again. I don't know if I need to be at full health. I could try that. I could use a sub, uh, sub chip. All right, let's try that again. Tomahawk. And we got a lot of R chips. So, let's go ahead and go this. Some 
health back by roll. Okay. Ah, he hit me before I hit him. Okay. Um, I think I'll just use Corn Shot and leave it at that because I want to save Air Hockey. Got him there. Circus Man, that's something. Okay. Good. Ah, Earthbreaker! Okay, whatever. I just need, like, a good starting set. I might as well use a full energy. It's not hurting anything. Let's try this again. I'm missing two more HP memories, so it's not the lack of HP that's the problem. Okay. Let's start with... I think I'll just start with Tengu and just get rid of this. And get the power up. Okay. He's gonna go for the sword, I think. And I can prep for that. about that. Okay, now I think it's time to go Tomahawk. And then we'll go with these. No. We'll go Double Beast. Okay, let's see how this goes. Maybe he uses the Earthbreaker... Once he's lower, yep. Once he's lower than 2,000. So, if he uses Earthbreaker, once, as soon as he gets below 2,000 health, I could think I could plan for that. And just make sure he does that, like, in the back row. Alright, let's try that again. Here, we have a good air spinner combo. Oh, do I? Mm. Wait. Hold on. I think we might... We'll go this. There's two right here. We could set up bodyguard. I don't know if, like, Bodyguard is the right option. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I basically have to get rid of something. And I think we'll do... Two out of three. Two out of three ain't bad. We'll get health back with roll. Earthshaker yet. I have to get rid of something. I think I could afford to get rid of this, sadly. 
this way I can use these three chips. Flame hook. was a lot better. That was a lot better. I just thought of something. I don't need collect. Let's remove everything for a second. Because I want two custom ones. Instead of collect. So what if... Looks like an ad's gonna start soon. But... I was able to basically get everything, because I don't need collect. Uh, where is... There was a... There was a way for me to get... Get this to work. I think it was this. There was a way for me to get two custom ones. And then, let's see. Charge? Speed. Attack. It's kind of weird, but... currently playing, uh, before we fight base again, I want to look at, I want to pull stuff up. So, I want to pull up, probably the, what is it, a power-up guy? Power-up guy, that's what I need. I want a list of HP memories and drag ups Yeah, because we'll, we'll probably be doing this soon. Um... Ads done? Ads done. Okay. Alright. I, I rearranged my Navi Customizer stuff. I now have two custom ones. So let's try this again. And wow, we, even, we start with this. I'm gonna get Dust. And I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go Double Beast. Because if I can get... Grass tiles, I can deal 700, and that will be better. Right, so let's start with this. Okay. Okay. You know what? I I can I I don't need to use dust shoot because that he is likely to appear there. You know what? We'll keep we'll, we'll hold off. Hold on. We'll keep this flame hook two. Watch this. Yes. <laughs> oh no, you use Earthshaker. Okay. Okay. I believe it was anti damage, anti sword, and anti navy. 
But because I haven't actually done the program advanced yet, if you don't mind, let me go ahead and pull this up. I want to get this right. Uh... Ah, okay. It's a good thing I looked this up. Anti-Navi. Anti-Sword. Anti-Damage. And you know what? Let's grab the heal. Bodyguard. It's back, baby. Probably only 700 damage, though. Oh, wait. You have to get hit. Okay, that's different. That's that's a different form of bodyguard. Okay. Ugh. I can see the source of your power. That beast power hidden inside you. It will be mine. <sighs> What's this? It looks like a battleship. This is... We get base? Ally? A anal I don't know. I never know how, what that one actually is called. Base. I'm sure if we get even stronger, he'll show up again. But he won't ever be... Be our awesome teamwork. Yeah! We could defeat anyone if we work together, right? <laughs> well, looks like we're done in this area. Time to head back. Alright. With that, we have gotten Face Ally. But now now I think we can actually pull off uh Dark Messiah again <laughs> with this. We might be doing some program advances soon. Am I missing some secret chips? Or something? I don't know. Anyway. With that, we can save. So, was base just creating gravestones for everyone? I don't know. There's nothing real in the stone monument. Because I'm not dead. Even though... Battle Network 3 told me otherwise. It's weird. Alright, let's head this way. Graveyard 1, but a new section of Graveyard 1. We have... a reason for Tomahawk Man to come back. Or Ground Man, actually. And there's the Bug Frag Trader. I don't really use it, but it's there. Ah, uh, too bad I don't have a lock in me. Oh, oops. I am so used to, like, setting up, uh, setting up, the uh, the grind. 3,000 zenny, I'll take it. It says, here lies Turbo Man, Ring, Star Man, Bright Man, Needle Man, Sword Man, Gravity Man. The side games are canon! This is proof! Battleship Challenge is canon. Network Transmission is canon. This is proof. This is proof right here. I have all the proof I need. And we skipped Battleship Challenge. There's a reason I skipped it. <laughs> but now, now there's a reason for me to go to Battleship Challenge, I guess. Sadly. <laughs> Sadly, there's now a reason for me to go to Battleship Challenge. But hey, this is proof. Network transmission is canon. I guess. Even though it actually conflicts with Battle Network 2. I don't know how I feel about that. But hey, it's canon. That's that. Alright. So there are three more element gates. Give me the tur Turbo Man doll. I know, right? It, and you know for a fact, if you had, if there was an action figure for Turbo Man, it would be a Transformer. It would just actually transform. By the way, Juice, have you ever played Battle Chip Challenge? What am I doing? What am I doing? No, we're not doing this. We got two, we got some element gates to open up. 
We got one for one that ground man can take care of, and there's two that Tengu Man can open, so let's go ahead and do that. You have never played Battle Chip Challenge. Honestly, you're okay with skipping it, but now this game is telling me, hey, Battle Chip Challenge is canon, even though it makes absolutely no sense how it's canon. Now it's, it's telling me I have to play through Chip, Battle Chip Challenge now. Never wanted to see the new playstyle, I guess. It's not... It's not that fun. That's why. It's not that... It's not that fun of a game. Like, they're... they're <laughs> I'm not upset that Battleship Challenge is not in, this, in these collections or anything. Because it's not fun. Still want to try 4.5 one day now. I do want to... I do want to try 4.5. Oh, it's been fully translated? Maybe we'll play 4.5 at some point. The problem with 4.5, it does, uh, it uses the real-time clock, right? Which, either I would have to do some things off-stream because of my streaming schedule, or I would have to change the, my PC, my PC's clock, and I don't like messing with that. But yeah. Got two element gates to open with Tengu Man. Yeah, what's been going on, Juice? What's been going on? Yeah, 4.5 uses the real time clock. It has a clock system and a calendar system where you have to do certain things on certain days. But the problem with that is, like, if you're playing on the totally legal Nintendo PC, you're gonna have to either actually do things on certain days, which means maybe very specific stream schedules, or you're gonna have to change your PC's internal clock. And I don't like messing with that. Especially midstream. I tried that once. I didn't like what it what was happening. So I'm playing Pokemon Go. You have a Go addiction. Oh no. I, I, I feel like I kind of lost that go addiction. However, uh, I still been doing community day stuff, even though I kind of don't want to. <laughs> but I've still been jumping in on community days. And so I came to take a break. I bet. I bet. Uh, the last. Well, Monday and Tuesday were the worst over here. <laughs> So, uh, uh remember Boktai used the solar panel on the cartridge? Yeah, that's how you actually had to play the game. It actually had a solar panel. And you had to play in the sun to power up the gun soul. Although, I think you can use, like, a UV lamp or something. Like, you can use some lamps to bypass it. But, yeah, it wanted you to actually use the actual sunlight. Hideo Kojima's weird. He's a weird... He, he, does some weird things. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Before we actually got to continue some of this stuff, I was looking up golden mystery data before I found the virus I was looking for. So, I, do you know how gold mystery data works, Juice? Because I have a list pulled up. Celsius right now, and that's about 85, I think. Uh, let me look up what it is over here. Um, yeah, it's 77 right now. This is actually pretty good. Actually, the hottest mid during the stream it's gonna get is like 81. That's actually really good. Uh, what is that in Celsius? Does this tell me? It should, probably should, right? It should tell me, but it's not. Yeah, I don't know how that converts to Celsius, but yeah, it's currently 77. Monday and Tuesday was 90, like 96, 95, 96. So that's why it was really hot, those Monday and Tuesday. No, just remember the video very rare. I think you ever got to in your whole playthrough. Okay, so I was just looking it up, and how it works is 
uh, as soon as you enter the net, as soon as you uh, log into the net, there is a 25% chance that any of the green mystery data in the net will be a gold mystery data. But there's only going to be one gold mystery data, and it replaces an existing green mystery data. Any of the green mystery data in any area except for Central 1 and 2 could be gold mystery data. But it's, that's the thing, it's already a 1 in 4 chance of that even happening in the first place, let alone trying to get a gold mystery data you're hoping to get, you know? Trying to get a very specific gold mystery data. But yeah, it's already a 1 in 4 just to find one on the net in the first place. But yeah, Central 1 and Central uh, 2 do not have gold mystery data. That, that's the exception. Every other area does. But like, for example, I was looking up a list. I still haven't pulled up. I'll probably glance through it. Uh, Central 3, the only rewards you are going to find in Central 3 is either 10 bug fragments... Or uh, 10,000 Zeni. That's the o those are the only rewards you're going to get. Whereas if you go to Seaside 1 and you find a gold mystery data, you have a little bit of variety. You could get Blast Manny. Uh, you okay, wait a minute. You could get 10 Bug Fragments. You could get 10,000 Zeni. You could get Blast Man SP. You could get... Uh, it was Vulcan 3R or Spreader 3R. And that's just Seaside Area 1. I think I have the list. Uh, did I miss something? No, that's right. That's Seaside 1. Seaside 2. Let's see. It looks like it's the same rewards for Seaside 2. Interesting. I thought everyone would probably have a different set of rewards. Seaside 3, I'm seeing the same rewards. Green Area 1. You have a chance of getting Dive Man SP. There's Super Vulcan. And there's two chances of that. There's 10 Bug Fragments. There's 10,000 Zenny. And there's Gun Soul 3 Q. Is that for Area 1 and 2? Yeah, those are the same. Okay. Underground 1. Element Man SP, which I actually managed to get one. Uh, 10 Buck Fragments, 10,000 Zenny. You can get Neovari uh, Neo Sword, which is actually very useful. And I think Neovari Sword is also in Undernet 2, based on what I was reading. Because Neovari Sword was... Without the gold mystery data, you need to spend 80 Bug Fragments to get. So that's just another way to get another Neovari without spending bug fragments. Uh, you could also get Sanctuary Z there as well in Underground 1 and 2. Before I continue reading, let's open this up. Blue Mystery Data. Uh, after this virus. I don't need this battle. Reg up two. We're keeping that. I have 48. There's either one. There's either a single uh, reg up two or two reg up ones. Eight thousand zenny. That's eh. I forgot to grab an unlocker. There's one thing I want to do, just for the memes, before... What? Why are these... Gl Why are these glowing? It has to do with beating base, didn't it? I saved. Circus Man RV. Oh, 
I forgot about these. Oh, I noticed I have the base symbol on up there. Uh, there's one thing I want to do for the memes. Hold on. Uh. No. It's. Here. Here's the memes. He's looking at his own grave. Tengu man, he's staring at his own gravestone. How did I don't I don't understand this? But while I just have uh, Tengu man have an existential crisis, let me pull up Gold Mystery Gear. Let's see, Sky Area. Uh, you have a chance of getting Circus Man SP, ten bug fragments, ten ten thousand zenny. You have a chance of getting Number Ball. That's interesting. And you also have a chance of getting Guardian. And same thing with Sky Area 2. ACDC Area. 10,000 Zenny, 10 Bug Fragments. You have a chance of getting Judge Man SP. Time Bomb 3M. I don't know if that's any good. Or Meteors R. And Meteors R is not that great of a reward. Because you could just get Meteors R and in Battle Green Mystery Data in this area. So that's not really that worth it. Undernet. Oh, Undernet has the same rewards as ACDC. Judge Man, Meteors, Time Bomb. Okay. Oh, wait. That, it ha Undernet 1 and Undernet 0 have the same rewards as ACDC area. Undernet 2 has the same rewards as Underground. Element Man, Sanctuary, Neovari. Okay. Undernet 3 has 10,000 Zenny, 10 Bug Fragments. It has Colonel SP, Blizzard Ball N, and Muramasa. Okay, okay. Graveyard. Graveyard 1. Wait. What? There's... Oh, it must be Count. It must be the count, because I see the H. Because, okay, let, let me read these off. So, in Graveyard 1, Graveyard 2, Graveyard 1 and Graveyard 2, you get 10,000 Zenny, 10 Bug Fragments. You could find Life Aura. You could find Proto Man SP. Or you could find... It says Hack Jack? SP? And I think that just means the count. Count SP. I think that's what that means. And then I just took a glance. Immortal Area has the same rewards as Undernet 3. It has the Colonel Muramasa Blizzard Ball. So it's a good thing I just kind of took a glance. Anyway. Yeah, Tengu Man is having a current existential crisis. Uh, that's fun. Uh, let's leave. All right, I need to buy an unlocker. Do you sell unlockers? You sell on traps. So no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I, I'm gonna use ground man, so I'm going back to central. Hopefully ground man can open the purple mystery data. Go ahead and buy one unlocker. I'm tempted to buy a lock enemy, but I think I'm gonna hold off. I'm not gonna do bug frag grinding. Not right now. No, that's off of me. We want this one. All right, we're using ground man to chop down a tree. Luckily, Ground Man's closer than Tomahawk Man, so that's why we're doing this. I think we want this way. Yeah. Off to Graveyard 1. 
which we have to get through Graveyard 2 to get back to Graveyard 1. It's weird. But yeah, I'm not saying we're close to being done, but we're kind of in the last bits of about the Battle Network stuff. It's now like kind of the cleanup of whatever side quests, not side quests, but post-game stuff. Uh, we gotta get... I mean, how many Giga Chips do I need to get? Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. This. What, I need like two more Giga Chips? Yeah, I need two more Giga Chips. One of them is Bug Fragments. It involves Bug Fragments. I don't know how you get the other one. I should legitimately get Proto Man SP. And then we need a lot of program advances. Well, not a lot. We need, like, another 10. But we need to money grind. We need to bug frag grind. I could still get Navi Cus programs. I need two more HP memories. One or two more reg ups. We're kind of... We're kind of close. We're, we're getting close. Honestly, the bug frag grinding is going to take the longest. It's going to take the most amount of time. Granted, I'll probably do some on my own time, but... Yeah, bug frag grinding takes a while. I already... Hmm, okay, so... The main bosses, or I should say the main story bosses, have a new fight. Okay, Glass Man, Dive Man, Circus Man, the RV, the RV versions. I think I know what the reward is for. Well, reward is for doing all that. But because I don't exactly remember right now, I don't really want to say anything, but I think we have to do it. I'm not 100% sure, though. Like, I. The problem is, I don't remember the reward, but I can take a guess on what the reward is. Made it to Graveyard 1. I did not buy a lock enemy, so I'm not going to worry about that. But I, I have a gut feeling we're going to be doing a lot of bug frag grinding, both on and off stream. Alright, well, I definitely don't want to use that. Um, yes. Risky Honey. There we go. Oh, Meteors. See what I mean? It's not worth it getting Meteors from Golden Mystery Data. You could just get them here. It's easy. But yeah, I want to try a 4.5. I like the I like the concept of kind of being able to play like all these different navvies. But the problem with 4.5, from what I can hear, is like you're not really controlling them. You're just like throwing in chips and basically telling them when to use them. But uh, it's still mostly just watching them do things. It's basically simulating what an actual operator is doing, which I can see the value in that. Well, value, quote unquote. I, I can see the reason why you would make a game like that. I, that's a better way to state it. So I, there is some interest, but it, sound, but it also sounds like the grind for it is gonna, it's gonna be hell. If I'm gonna do all, all the all RV fights, I would rather be Mega Man. Oh yeah, Juice! I don't know if you're still listening. You remember how I uh, got the S rank on, like, Dive Man even though I got hit? It's- I looked it up. They've changed the... They've changed the requirements of how to get S ranks in this. And we're gonna have, uh, Ground Man have an existential crisis. And there's a ton of characters. I wonder how long each play lasts for each character. Uh, I don't know- there's, like, so, the problem is, like, how it works is there are actual, there are tournaments, right? Because 
Battle Network 4, right? So there are tournaments. And to 100% the game, you have to have each character enter each tournament, which means you have to sign up on certain days and play those characters on certain days. It just seems like a big hassle. But yeah, so I looked it up. There's a lot more things about uh, improving your rankings. So there's the traditional... Oh, I didn't even realize an ad is playing. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait for the ad to play. Right now I'm just gonna get to the tree. I'll wait before I say anything. I'm so glad I can now tell when there's an ad playing. So I know when to just kind of let it play out. Alright, we'll grab, we'll grab this. No, wait. One minute left on the ad. save, because why not? I'm gonna wait. Um, power-ups, program advances, I'm gonna need this list. Uh, let me pull up, uh, battle rankings? Busting level, there it is. seconds. Ten. Nine, six, five, four. Okay. It seems like ads are done. Before I continue that conversation, let's open up this purple mystery data. HP plus 500 Navicus program. Okay, we'll keep it. So, uh, what I was saying before, the whole bus uh, busting level, they've added a couple things to it to affect your buster, uh, to affect your buster rank. Oh, now I have to try. I have to try. Look at that. There's a green mystery data. I, I gotta try for this. Too bad a double beast doesn't get the power up out of this. Okay. Ooh. Right. I don't really play as ground man. I like the ground man form, but I don't really play as ground man himself. Okay. So there is a couple other factors that's added in to affect your ranking. Here, I, I'm gonna have this up. So when it comes to, well, I'm gonna talk boss fights, right? There's still the 30 seconds and the getting hit. Although apparently with the getting hit, and this was always the case apparently, it's about being flinched, not getting hit necessarily. So if you have super armor, that's a way to avoid losing your rank from getting hit, and that's been a thing for ever since Battle Network 3, I think. But there's also other aspects that affect your ranking. Uh, so, we know about the multiple deletes and viruses. Here's a here's another factor, and I, re I knew this was a factor, but it must have only affected Battle Network 6. You get an extra point in your Navi rank, in your Buster ranking, if you take zero to two steps during the fight, you get an extra point if you take zero to two steps. If you take three steps or more, you get zero points. Basically, it doesn't really affect the score. You just get an extra point if you don't move. You play without getting hit. So, here's from what I understand. Maybe I need to look at the, uh, the list. In every game, Battle Network 1 through 5 to s -like boss fights, it's about under 30 seconds, do not get hit. Although with Battle Network 3, 4, and 5, if you have super armor and getting hit because you don't flinch, it doesn't affect your ranking. Win minus rank. It's about getting flinched, yes. I think that's how it works. It's about being flinched. 
That's what I'm reading. Maybe I need to look at the specifics in, you know, 1 through 5, but that's what I'm understanding. Battle Network 6 has, if you take 0 to 2 steps to beat the fight, you get an extra point. More, 3 steps or more, you get, you know, it doesn't affect your ranking. If you do not, if Mega Man does not use a cross form, does not use any of the crosses, you get an extra point. You get an extra point in your ranking for never using a cross form. And here's what was happening. Here's how I was getting the S rank from Dive Man, hell, even from Count. If you counter the enemy and get them to get stunned, you get extra points. If you counter them once, you get an extra point. If you counter them twice, you get two points. If you get three counters, it's three points on your ranking. That's how I got the Dive Man and hell, even the Count SP chips, even though I shouldn't have. It's because I actually countered their attacks. Anyway, with that over, what do you say? Your depression code? I don't know which one. And what does this grave say? Here lies Gyro Man, Medi, Toad Man, Lark Man, Grid Man, Lizard Man, Cloud Man, Cosmo Man. Okay, this one wasn't really that important. Uh. Just some extra flavor, I guess. Um. I think we can, I think we can use this. But yeah. I remember, I think when I went back to Battle Network 1, all the way like two years ago, right? I remembered something about movement affecting my ranking, right? But then like, I either gaslit myself being like, no, that's not affecting, or I looked it up and realized that wasn't a factor. It's bound. It's because of Battle Network Six. I must have at some point found out movement affected the ranking for Battle Network Six, and thought that affected every Battle Network game. So I knew that was. I knew movement was a factor. Okay. So what? What do we need to do? Hold on, let me check the title screen. I want to check the title screen. So we need Giga Chips. We need Program Advances. Can we even get the second row? Uh, I don't know. That. Okay, hold on. I'm going to look up title screen marks very quick. Okay, yeah, we're top row. It's just Giga Chips and Program Advances, which I don't know where one Program Advance is. Or Giga Chip, I, I should say. In Battle Network 6, there are three extra marks that will appear on the second row. Collecting these three marks will not unlock anything. So, but they appear on the title screen. Maybe we'll get them anyway. Defeat Proto Man FZ. You need to do all the jobs. This requires the e-reader requests exclusive jobs, which we've done. In English EVA version, these jobs are unlocked through the story progression. Oh! English GBA just has them in the game? So they kept those in mind. I almost want to replay that version just to see differences at some point. Okay, Beast Link Gate. Defeat base SP using all five Link Navvies. Unlocked via Beast Link Gate's Navi Link System, level up to SP level. However, uh, the in-game Link Navi cannot make base SP appear in Graveyard, even if all RV Navis are beaten, okay? In Legacy Collection, this title screen mark is unattainable, unattainable, unattainable because they took out Beast Link Gate, so we can't do that. And then there's the S mark, which is complete all secret chips. So that makes me question what secret chips I'm actually missing. Oh, it must be the Boktai stuff. 
It must be Boktai stuff. Hold on, I'm gonna pull up a list. I wanna double check. And if it's Boktai stuff, I might need some help. Um... Bouchip locations? Yeah, Bouchip locations. Sorry, uh... Let that sit here for a second. Um... Standard chips. Sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, this is Megas, which I don't need. Okay, gigas, okay. I did that, that, that. Ah, uh, okay, I think, now I think I know what beating all the RV navvies does, okay. And then, okay, good. Secret chips. We need to do Boktai Trader stuff, which means we would have to net battle to get the secret chips unlocked. Because, so, from what I understand, there are 17 secret chips. The Navi chips from the other version are some of them. Or the 15. And then two more uh, secret chips are from the Boktai Trader. And if I remember correctly, to get points, you need to net battle. Okay. I had a feeling. Good thing I looked. Alright. So. What. Okay, what needs to be done? We need to defeat the RV navvies. We need two more HP memories. Look, let's get the HP. Uh, let's get the HP memories and reg ups. Let's do that right now. We're kind of at the point where it's like it's hard to tell what I need to do. Okay, so story, story, don't need net cafe. I did that. Merchants. I could double check the merchants, but I think I bought them all. Uh, ACDC area merchants. Graveyard, I'm pretty sure I got those. We could check blue mystery datas. Billions, Central Town, Office, Salmon Control, Popcorn Shop, blue mystery data. Right, Once Air Tank, I'm pretty sure I got that. Homepage blue mystery data. Green homepage blue mystery data. Seaside area one invisible path. Did I not find that invisible path? It might be in sea one might be in seaside area one. Green area two blue mystery data. Underground two blue mystery data. Underneath three blue mystery data. In mobile area blue mystery data. Graveyard two blue mystery data. We got that. And then from the jobs. Okay, um I wanna check seaside area one. Man, I wish I had checked this right now. I would have been marking it. Alright, let's go ahead and go to Seaside Area 1. Apparently, there's a secret pathway in Seaside Area 1. And I have a feeling I missed that one. This is saying, Invisible Path, Bottom Floor. Just missing two HP memories. Okay, there's a hidden pathway somewhere, so let's just hug the wall. I already have the piranha enemy, so I'm good. I might get the last like four rare nap rare viruses as well. Just to have them. Okay. Oh, found it. Yeah, I 
have a feeling. I'm pretty sure I did not get this. Oh, yeah. There it is. HP memory. Okay, there's one. So, let's see. Aquarium homepage, blue mystery data. Green homepage, blue mystery data. There's green area two. Underground two. I'm pretty sure I got those. Undernet three, immortal area, grape area two. I have a feeling I got all of those. I'll check the homepages for aquarium and green, but I'm pretty sure I got those. I think I want to check, like, some of the IRL spots. So, seaside? It says nothing about a hidden pathway. Just a blue mystery data. I'm pretty sure I would have gotten these, so... The soul battle is still here. Normally they disappear. Yeah, I don't see anything. Okay, let's check the IRL spots. Okay. Aquarium Comp 1, Robo Control Comp 1, Judge Tree 2, Mr. Weather Comp 2. I think I'll save. And the Pavilion Comp 3. I think I'll save those for later. Class 1, 2, Comp. Save that. Principal's office, I'm, I know I got that. Okay. There's only a few IRL spots. So let's just grab... Let's just take a look at those. Those will be faster. Just to double check. Skytown. As far as I know, it could be a shop. So, Skytown, in the operator room, the rightmost air tank. Yeah, I think, I think we're good. Is there another air tank in here? I don't think so. I remember grabbing it. I'm just double checking. Yeah, I'm double checking. Okay. Um, ACDC and Seaside Town. And I think those are the last, the only IRL spots. Everything else is somewhere else I can look at. Yeah, I would have never found that invisible pathway in Seaside 1. Never would have found it. Okay. Dex is ha Examine Dex's door. Which... I remember grabbing it. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to Seaside. We are going to check... The ladder in the control room, which I remember grabbing, but let's just double check. And apparently, the popcorn shop computer has a blue mystery data. I'm pretty sure I grabbed it. I'm double checking. Okay. Yeah, I grabbed that. Control room ladder. Yep, we're good there. Now let's check the popcorn machine. And I, those are the only uh, IRL spots. The ladder, the Dexas house, and uh, the oxygen tank. Those are the only IRL spots for HP memories. I mean, I could check the net cafe again. Sky, but I'm pretty sure I got it. Okay, not popcorn machine. So, 
we could check the like the boss area, uh, the dungeons. I should have. Oh well. All right, uh, aquarium comp one. Let's double check there for a blue mystery data. Frustrating trying to find the last HP memory. Nope. Okay. I don't think it's in any of the shops. I think I bought all the ones in the shops. Central 2, Seaside 3, Green Area 1, ACDC, Graveyard. I think I bought all of them. So I think the last HP memory is just... Somewhere in like one of these dungeons or something. And I've done all the jobs. Okay, it's not here. It is not here. Let's go ahead and go to central. Because I could check robot control panel area one. I could check uh, pavilion comp three. And I could check principal's office computer, which I'm pretty sure I grabbed like last time. Oh, and there's class 1-2 computer. Which I could double check. The central town just has a bunch of areas. And if it's not there, it's it seems like it's either Judge Tree, Area 2, or Mr. Weather 2. Okay, first. Let's go ahead and check robot control. Area 1. Play network transmission. I wonder if there's any anything on retro achievements for network transmission or battleship challenge. That's what I mean. Sorry. Because maybe we'll do that. Mega and getting uh, confused. Battle battleship challenge. Let me look. I want to see if one if there is and two like what is required to get everything because if i play battle chip challenge i may go through that route there doesn't seem to be one actually or did i type it in wrong I'm, that might be possible hey mega man there's a space in there Oh, yep, here we go. Let's see. Yep, okay, there is a set. There is a set here. Uh, okay. I, well. Oh, that sucks. Yes, there is a set here. However, it looks like... Uh, 
have him. Oh, I'm sorry. So it kind of, I'm looking at this list and luckily it doesn't require you, because there's six characters you could choose from. It doesn't require you to beat the game with all these characters, but it requires you to finish like the first set of tournaments with every character. Okay, I didn't see anything. So, it seems like it would be like one full playthrough and then just start a new file on the second save because there's only two saves. Start the second file and just do like the first tournament with every other character. Because it specifies the operator, not the navy. Maybe go that route. I don't know. Alright. Principal's office comp. I have a feeling it's a Mr. Weather. If not Mr. Weather, then Pavilion Comp 3, because both of them are kind of similar. Class 1 2. Robot. Okay, Robot Control. Class 1 2, Principal. Maybe I should have checked class 1 2 first. That probably would have been a better routing. I am pretty sure I got this one already. But I might as well look. Class 1 2 comp. Blue Mystery Data. Wait, what were you? Oh, the rare virus stuff. Right, that's right. That's right. It was in class one too? I was what? What do you mean I didn't find this one? I, okay, whatever. Whatever. I would not have guessed it was there. Okay. I thought it was thorough there, but I guess not. Actually, you know what probably happened? I probably assumed there was only one blue mystery data, which that's normally the case in my previous Battle Network stuff in these areas. There's only one. But... Eventually, I found out there's two blue mystery datas, or there can be, and I think I didn't go back to check this one. That's probably what happened. Okay. Reg ups. There's either one reg up two or two reg up ones. So. Hmm. How do we want to check this? Got all the jobs, that's fine. There's blue mystery datas. I think I wanna get the RL spots very quick first. So just that. Okay. Let's do the IRL ones. Luckily three of them are in Central Town. Okay. No, class six one. 6-1. Examine grid next to room blackboard. This one. Okay, I think I got that one. Yeah, that looks right. Auditorium? Auditorium. As in Expo Center? Okay. Uh, let's go to the principal's office. Because it looks like... Oh, no, Auditorium's in Seaside Town. No, there's three in Central Town. Okay. Principal's office. 
the text just blends together sometimes. All right, principal's office, just on the coffee table, this one. I think I remember grabbing it. Okay. And then we need to go, we actually need to go into this room and we need to examine the waterfall, which is down there. I think I grabbed it, but we'll double check. Again, it's either two reg up ones or one reg up two. must have gotten it. Because I'm mashing A. And I'm not getting anything. Other than that. So we're, we might be good there. Uh, let's go to Seaside Town. There's only two more IRL spots. Actually, no. Let's go to Greentown first. Because there's a chance this is a Court foyer, large flower bed. In here, there's a flower bed. These? No, that, those are the sensors. This? So, there it is. We have 50 megabytes. There we go. We got all the reg ups. We got all the HP memories. I should have every sub, sub memory. Yeah, I have eight. Okay. All that's done. That's all done. Make a save. All right. Let's pull up Navicus. Let's look and see what I am missing. I know I'm missing some, but from like Bug Frag Trader, but let's take a look. Okay. Uh, okay. Super Armor, Custom 1, which it's not telling me how many there are, which I have three. But because it's telling me it's only green area one, you just need to keep buying. Custom two. Uh, I can compress. Hold on. R-A-L-L-A-A-B-R-B-A. -L -L -A -A -B -B -A. It's actually pretty good. Actually, that might be better than... Ah, eh, no, I can't really throw it in. Instead of custom one, so like... Actually, wait. Actually, I probably could. Uh, I'm not gonna rearrange. Not right now. Uh, this is the. Re this is from get the bad guy from the e-reader job. Job. Okay. Okay. Mega folder one, which I have not compressed. A R L A L A L L A B. Okay. Green Area 1 Program Dealer, I bought them all. Make a Folder 2, I already compressed. This is from the Request BBS from the e-reader job. Giga Folder 1 is from the Undernet 2 Bug Frag Trader, which that is 100 Bug Fragments. Okay. First Barrier, which I have. Compress. Shield, yep. I don't have Reflect, that's from the Bug Frag Trader. Uh, Anti-Damage, yep. Yeah. Float Shoe. Air Shoe. Under Shirt, which is right here. Chip Shuffle, okay. Number Open. Sneak Run. Oil Body, Fish, Battery, Jungle. Collect. 
Millions, Humor, Poem, Slip Runner, Auto Heal, Buster Pack, right here, uh, Body Pack, that will, well, remember, okay, Folder Pack, one, Folder Pack, oh, I'm missing Folder Pack two, okay, hold on. This, oh, okay. You need to get... The only way to get this, at least in Legacy Collection. Uh, Iris's Kindness. That is the only way to get it. Folder Pack 2. Press it. B B A R B L A R B L. Not very much, but it's custom custom two and mega folder two, so maybe you can make use of that. In the G B A English version, you get this from the Virus Battle Machine number four. So there is a way to get these. I guess when it, the stuff was being brought over to America. They knew they weren't going to do the e-reader stuff, so they found a way to get the rewards inside. So it seems like they didn't... It wasn't cut. That's good to know. Bug stop, we got Rush. Beat. Tango. Okay. Attack plus one. And there is two pinks. You start with one for bring your own program. There's a blue one. And there's a red one. Speed plus one. There is two white speed ones. There's a green. And there's a pink. Okay. Charge plus one. There are two white ones, which we got. There's a blue one, which we got. And then the pink one. Okay. Attack max. Oh, okay. To get attack max, like, kind of like I thought, we need... Where is it? We need this right here. This is the only way to get it. If you're playing English GBA, you can get it in a blue mystery data in Graveyard. So there is a way to get it. That's nice. Attack max. And there is a question for this. L B R B A B L B A L. Honestly, Buster Pack probably. Buster Pack and one of each is probably better than using these three. Probably takes up way less space. I'm not sure. Uh, okay. Final number. I already pressed these. I'll number one. Okay, HP plus 50. Let's see how many are there. There's three of them. White, pink, blue. HP plus 100. There are three of them. That's good. HP plus 200. There are three of them. Two, three. Okay, we're good. HP plus 300. There are three of them. We got them. HP plus 400. There are three. I'm missing one. Uh, white. Uh, green. Yellow. Yellow's from the Undernet 2 Bug Frack Trader. Okay. And then HP plus 500. There are three. And I only have two. This one was Lotto Number. This one was Graveyard 2 Purple Mystery Data. If you're playing English GBA, it's the Purple Mystery Data in just Graveyard. And then to get the green one, there we go. So there we go. That's 
the only Navi customizer parts I am missing is from the Bug Fractrator. That's all I'm missing. Alright. So I need to Bug Frag Grind to get the rest of the Navi customizer parts. I also need to Bug Frag Grind for the Giga Chip anyway. Um... We need program advances. We need Giga Chips. Let me look up program advances. What am I missing? Okay. And one, two, three. Wide burn, one, two, three. Blame hook, one, two, three. Power wave one. I only have power wave one. Let me look up power wave. Two and three. What ships I am missing? Power wave, where are you? Again, we're kind of at the cleanup, more or less. Power wave, power wave. Wave arm. Here we go. Wave arm two. I have M and N. I need L. How do I get L? I see poison seed swords. Let's skip, let's skip the swords. Moonblade, Muramasa. Sassy sword, black shot, black shot, triple shot, reflector. Wave on. Okay. Okay, it just seems like I was unlucky. To get the L version of Wave Arm 2, we either need to fight the level, you know, the corresponding virus, which I think leave this in sky area and just get a 9 through s rank which that's how you also get m or you can find you could fight the rare variants and get it from there and honestly we might be better off there that might actually be better where is the rare variant Rare Craker. Yeah, what location? Seaside 3. I think we should go to Seaside 3. And grab that. And then Wave Arm t I only have T. We can get Wave Arm 3 R by the Rare Craker. Oh. I'm just now realizing where Rare Quaker can drop any of the three chips. But I also need S from here, too, which I have to get that from the virus. There's no other way. Uh, let's see. Again, I could fight the rare variant. Defeating the rare variant has a chance of giving me any of the three ships. And it might be easier to take down because that's an easier area. I'm gonna need collect again. Luckily, I didn't really need to change anything. Alright, we got collect. Too bad I couldn't buy anything from here. I have to actually grind for it. Let's get one lock enemy. Right. While I'm here, I might as well look up. So we may go to Seaside. Corn Fiesta. Yeah. Okay, so Parashell. The Pulse one. Time Bomb. Or ahead. H per. No, not H burst. Super spread. It's the wide shots. 
Okay. Uh, how do I get wide shot? What number is this at? That's yeah, like early on. Okay, hold on. Number 22. Okay, you buy, buy one from the shop. That's all I got one. Underground one green mystery data. Hold on. So, I bought this one. And there's Q and R. Order system. You could buy Q. Or you could get it from Underground 1 Green Mystery Data. But to get R, you need Underground 2 Green Mystery Data. So either way, we're going to Underground. Okay. That's good to know. So we'll just try to get them both in Underground. Uh, H first, okay. Life Sword. Great Yo-Yo, Pit Hockey, Poison Pharaoh, Bodyguard. And then it's the references to the previous Battle Network games. Double Hero, Dark Messiah, Master Cross, Sun and Moon, which I think I need to buy uninstall. Yeah, okay, hold on. Good thing I didn't buy super spread. Uh, uninstall R. Because I think I need to buy it from here. I think that's the only way. Uninstall, uninstall. There's uninstall R. I am going to double check and see if this is the only way to get it. Yeah, this is the only way to get it. G was a lotto number, L is from Mr. Famous, and R is chip order. I have to get that one. Okay. I should be able to get the rest of the program advances, maybe. Hey, Raven, how's it going? Why are you Taylor? It randomly chose you to be Taylor. You should be able to swap, though. Uh, when you first enter a stream, or when you, when you're a first-time viewer, it randomly picks one of the existing uh, stream avatars that you could choose. But you have the choice to choose whatever you want that's in there. I think. Uh, yeah, it just randomly picked you to be Taylor. Uh, okay, let's. Um, try scrolling down. There should be a stream avatars, uh, like extension, and you can mess around with that. Look there. Oh, hey, look, gold mystery data. Hey, juice, <laughs> gold mystery data. I think this is like my third one. We got Blast Man SP. Not that I need it, but we got Blast Man SP. Yeah, this is like my third gold mystery data that I got. Cause I got Element Man, I now have Blast Man. I know I found like one more somewhere. Okay, so we are looking for Wave Arm. Fire burn, don't need that. Again, this area right here just feels so pointless. Hey, how's it going, Raven? How's it going? We're more or less doing cleanup. We don't have that much left. I have a feeling we're going to be doing a lot of grinding, though. We're going to be doing a lot of bug frag grinding. Yeah, no problem. Uh... So yeah, so what I got left, uh, I just beat base 
in, or was it base SP, in Graveyard 2. Can you change into the beast? Are you talking about Falzar? Is that what you're talking about? Hell yeah. Go bird. Uh, yeah, so we bet we just beat base. We have base ally. We need two more Giga Chips. One of them's bug frags. Yeah. So yeah, we need the Giga Chips and we need the program advances. I just got the last of my HP memories and my reg ups. The I have every Navi customizer part except for like three that are Bug Frag Trader. So right now the plan is I am going to do a lot of program advances that I'm missing. And we're trying to find the rare Quaker enemy because that should help me get some of them. And after the program advances, I need to go back to Graveyard 2, and we're going to be fighting a lot of... Okay, the, this is the fight we want. We're going to be fighting a lot of uh, the RV bosses, which should unlock a new boss after defeating them all. That should lead to a Giga Chip. From 1G, that's whatever. I just needed to fight the rare variant so we can lock enemy. We are hoping that the rare enemy can drop me a wave arm 2 and a wave arm 3. Okay, not this one. But yeah, I'm assuming you have played Battle Network, si Battle Network before. You played Battle Network 6 specifically, and if so, which one did you play? Were you a Gregar or were you a Thousand? Most people seem to be a Gregar pick player, though. Most people I ask seem to be Gregar players. Because there's two secret chips I need, and to get the two secret chips I'd need to net battle, and then get crossover points, and then trade those in for two more Boktai crossover chips. I may or may not do that, but that's like the only one I may not do. And I'm reading that uh, it doesn't get you anything anyway. So there's not much reason to it. Maybe this isn't the best uh, spot to grind for these chips, but let me let me double check. Okay. Rare Quaker one S rank S, but then there's Rare Quaker. Oh, okay. Maybe I need to fight the level two variants. Oh, uh, 
Okay, I, I see what's happening. If I want Wave Arm 2 from Rare Quaker, I have a chance at S rank. But if I wanted Rare, uh, Wave Arm 3 from this, I need the second Rare Quaker. Hmm. Which I might just be better off going to graveyard anyway. Anyway, let's try to get uh, let's try to get Wave Arm 2 at the very least. Yeah, that's the first variant. I just have a chance at S rank. So this kind of sucks. It seems like, even with Collect, I have a 1 in, what, 1 in 4 chance to get what I want? Because there's... Okay, there's two Wave Arm 1s that we could get when we get S rank. No, okay, so it's a 1 in 3. It is a 1 in 3 chance when I S rank. So it just seems like I've been unlucky. It's a 1 in 3. Come on, roll that guy! Nope. And it might be heavily weighed in the in the Wave Arm 1's favor. We're gonna keep going. This is the experience of Battle Network. Wave Arm 2L. There it is. Alright. Um... Holy sh okay, so... To get Wave Arm 3... I could fight Rare Arm 2 and S rank that, but I haven't even found a Rare Arm, a uh, Wave Arm 2 enemy, or Rare Enemy 2 variant. And I don't know how many more I would need to take down just to get one to spawn. So let's just go to Graveyard and just fight the level 3 variant. I need to S rank for my best chance. I need to go to graveyard anyway, might as well just do this instead. Because I need two chips at this. Alright. Off to graveyard two. Again. And maybe we'll do the RV navvies while we're there. I'm there anyway, might as well. Okay. Off to graveyard again. Let's see. Nothing here. Oh yeah, this is just the grind of Battle Network. It's kinda normal. This is the Battle Network experience. But. At least we're almost done with Battle Network, or at least I thought I was. Because now it seems like Battle Chip Challenge is canon. So now I have to go, uh, now I need to play Battle Chip Challenge. It's canon. According to this game, it's canon. Same thing with Network Transmission. But I've already played through Network Transmission. But since it sounds like uh, Battle Chip Challenge is canon. I have to play through Battle Chip Challenge. That's the rule. And I also want to try out uh, Real Operation 4.5. There's Operation Shooting Star on the DS. You know, the remake of Battle Network 1. I don't see myself streaming that one. Because it's just Battle Network 1 again. But hey, maybe, I don't know. I have no immediate plans for that one, at, at the very least. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I better try. What's that green mystery data? Bug fragments. I need those. I definitely need those. Okay, an ad is plain, but I'm just getting the graveyard, so I'll keep going. They're not missing anything. Oh, almost missed that. There we go. Navi plus 20. Lame. Okay, Graveyard 1. I think we need to stick around Graveyard 1. I have one lock enemy. I think there is a specific enemy formation that has two of the ground guys. So we'll do that. We'll find that enemy formation. Looking for the shaker enemies and might as well open these green mystery data while I have the chance. That's why I saw a boomerang in the shortcuts. Meteors! Oh, not what I want. Okay, here's one. Here's one set. However. If rock enemies are more likely to find a very specific enemy formation, like how 4 and 5 has it, then I want to have it set up. If it's specific enemy formations, I want it on... I want it on the other fight. But it also seems like I'm gonna need to... Yeah, okay, you know what? If I need to S-rank, let's do this. I need that on my... I think I need that on my shortcuts. And that's another reason I want the other enemy formation. This, that one had the candle. Flame hook would, uh, you know, be a problem. Let's hang out here. I don't need that. Come on. I don't need that. Nope, not this fight. No. There is a f enemy formation with two of the two of the enemies, and that's the one I want to find. Because that's just a better chance of getting what I need. Like... If this was the other enemy formation, this would be a good starting one. Actually, we'll, we'll go Aqua. Nah, 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 we'll go Tengu. We'll go Tengu. Man, I do find it interesting that Bodyguard now is also treated like anti-damage. Which 
it's probably better now that I think about it. Because if it's treated like anti-damage, the enemy has to attack you, which means they stop moving, which means the actual attack is more likely to actually hit. That might be better. Oh, and I think it's also there to be like that, so it's less likely to be chained from another move. You know what, that makes sense. Because in some attacks, you could have the enemy stunned by one attack, like one multi-hit move attack, and then just set up bodyguard, meaning they had no way to dodge. But if they have to attack you, there's a good, ch uh, it's less likely for the opponent to be stunned. I think that's what it's there for. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. This enemy formation. Okay, how do I want to handle this? Go tomahawk. I need an S rank. Right now, I just want to beat the fight. Okay. This is the fight I want. Okay, fine. Lock enemy. We need two chips from them, and we need an S rank. And honestly, it seems like Flame Hook 2 might be my best shot. I'm gonna reset, because... Well... Nah, I don't need to reset in every fight. At least I don't think so. Lock enemy lasts for a little bit. No flame hook. Um, what's the best route? I think just Guardian. Aqua? Sure. Why not? And I only hit one of them. Alright, that, that did not work out. I already know that did not work out. If I could just start with Flame Hook, I could just get them all. There we go. Dang it. No Flame Hook. But we could do something like this. Okay. Rank 8. Nope. I need a rank 9 through S, I believe. And I feel like it's not, it, it's not uh, an impossible ask to ask for flame hook. It's not impossible. But I'll try it anyway. I got hit, no triple delete, rank 7, that's the wrong code. That's the one I keep getting. Is it an impossible ask to ask for flame hook when I have the tag chips? I don't think so. Come on. Nothing? Really? Are you kidding? But I can't use Falzar. Triple delete. S rank. Wrong one! Are you kidding me? That is dumb. It's like, oh, it's two out of three, basically, right? It's a two out of three chance, right? How come it gave me the one? Ah, oh, that's stupid. Try. 
Let's see how it goes. Nope. Ah, uh, come on. Yeah, I needed multiple deletes anyway. That wasn't gonna work. Okay. There we go. That's what I need. Flame hook two. Double delete. S rank. We got R. We're keeping that. Alright, now we just need S, which... Uh, it's also another S rank. We are looking for a 1 in 3 now. And it seems like Flame Hook is still my best shot. Okay, no Flame Hook. But we could go Air Spinner. We got a double delete. That gives me an S rank. And there it is. Alright. That should be the program advance is ready to go. Let's go ahead and let's at least start the RV fights. Let's fight Blastman. Alright. Last Man RV. We'll start with Double Beast. Oh, I can take Collect out now. So, I, I should not need it anymore. Last Man is still pathetic. attempt to do last man this is really sad well what I get for that obviously nothing and I have collect on so maybe I should have had like maybe I should uh, maybe it would have given me Zenny let's rearrange this by rearrange, I mean that's all I do. There we go, more chips. Alright, boss man was a no hit run. Where's dive man? Alright. I have a feeling that we have to do this all in one go. I could have gotten something. Oh well. I'll be okay. Yeah, this these missiles are like going really quick. Uh I'll throw a air spin here. Let's do this. At least I know I'm gonna hit him. punch him the rest of the time anyway. I just realized this just man charge attack is like a better metal sword. 
because it actually has range. And let's have some fun. Falzar. And we get Zenny out of this. So it's a good thing I took out Collect. Alright. Again, I have a feeling we have to do this all in one go. Because I have a feeling if we leave the internet area, it will just reset. So let's just get this all done. Ground Man. It's my strategy. Hit me! Dark beast. Okay. Ah, oh, he, he's going for this one. Might as well use roll. It's not going to hurt anything. I think he's going for the tigers. Taking a lot of damage. That's okay. It's not like the rank matters. At least I don't think it does. Ooh. I lucked out there. That was lucky. Yeah, I still got 3,000 Zenny for that. How many... I have two full energies. I have two full energies. I'll keep that in mind. So we got Judge Man, and we got Element Man. I believe that's it. Alright, Tomahawk. Let's start with Boomerang. Or, no, I could have gone with Roll. Never mind. Oh well. three times, and then books. Alright. Let's go... this. Two... Let's get roll going. Get some health back. One, two... books. Ow. One, two... attack. One, two... Books. Okay, it's not a strict pattern now. Let's heal up. One, two. Ah, oh, he's setting this up. HP, but we beat Dud Judge Man, so that works out. Let's make a save. Of course, it was a virus, it's good. To save. Okay. Okay, well, I have to try. I have to try for that green mystery data. Let's go ahead and go with popcorn. And what do I 
hit. Bug fragments. I need more of those. And Element Man's Grave is here. Make another save, because I am dangerously low. All right. Okay. With Element Man, there is a way to manipulate his... If you stun him before he transforms, he actually won't swap forms. I stopped him. Okay. This is mean. I'm stopping him from doing anything. He can't do anything. Two. Nope. You're not. You're not transforming. One, two. Wind. One, two. Oh, there we go. Wait. 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 Actually, no. Let's go this route. Double beast! Did I stop this transfer? Yes! I stopped him. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. I messed that up. Okay, that was on me. Alright. Almost done. Roll, get some health back. Alright. That was so dumb. So now that I've just defeated all the bosses from the graves, wait, do I, do I need to fight Colonel? I forgot, I might need to fight Colonel. Uh, okay, yeah, I need to fight Colonel. I think I, ha I had Tomahawk. And we'll start with Boomerang. Okay. Uh, pincer attack. Alright. Let's go. Doing good. Um, I'll grab. Uh, I guess I'll grab this one. All right. Answer. Go air spin. Go air spinner. Colonel, you're so predictable. 
Flame hook two. Okay, I got hit because I didn't move in the right way, but I got him. All right. That should be all of them. That should be all of it. So now... I think we go back to where we fought base. And we fight a virus along the way. I don't have collect on. Hold on, I'm at low health. What if I, if I get the win, do I get the heal? No, I didn't get a heal. It's fine. Okay, go up to where we fight base. And the text is the same so far. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. Base F SP. Okay, that's not right. That's not correct. Or do I need... Okay, something's not right. What am I doing wrong? Uh, do I need battleship locations? I think I might. Hold on. Let me look something up. Something's wrong. Okay, there's that, there's that. How do I get this? I think I see the problem. Wait. What does it mean after base BX? What does that mean? So apparently, base is a random encounter right now. Or at least he should be. But it says after base BX, but we... But that's the fight with base BX. Does it mean after base SP? Um, something's not right. I'm doing something wrong. Or, okay, hold on. Something, I'm doing something wrong. Okay. I'm gonna look this up. There's another form of base we have to fight. Um, let's click here. Let me see. Put me up. No, okay, wait a minute. No, I need to fight base. Oh, just in general. I need to fight base BX in general. But how do I fight base BX? He's in graveyard, but you already know that. If you want to refight B base S. Beast. Wait. In graveyard, beat them all, and then beat them. If you want to refight the RV World 3 navvies, they're in graveyard, beat them all, then beat base SP where he originally was, re-enter graveyard and fight them again, but that's just talking about refights. Come on. RV navvies. So let me see what this does. Okay, R RV bosses. What does this do? When you 
collect all standard ships, proceed through graveyard, fight base SP. After you beat him, you get the gate ship. Next, you gotta go to underground two. Oh, we need to go to underground two. Okay. Once we do that, what you're gonna have. After you fight base BX in underground 2. Okay, we need to go to underground. I kind of wasted my time. And I just remembered I still need the wave chips. So I have to go to underground anyway. What's the fastest way there? Actually, I think this way is just the fastest. I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out. I guess it was an ad. So, apparently... I was doing things wrong. I guess there's no reason to actually beat the RV bosses. Basically, do you just want to challenge and have some extra money? And another way to fight base as SP again. But it turns out to get uh we need to fight base GX or is it BX? Either way. To fight that version of base. We need to go to Underground 2, probably in the same spot as uh, where we found Colonel, where we... Yeah, where we fought Colonel. Bubble Star 1, that's not what I need. We need to go down here anyway, because we need to open Green Mystery Data in 1 and 2. And I think it's not in battle, but so we'll grab this anyway. more chips, and then after that, we should be able to do every program dance. There. There's another green mystery data somewhere. Where is it? Up there. Up here? Zenny. Gonna have to go back through Underground 1, that's for sure. Before we go fight base, I wanna... I wanna find Green Mystery Data. You know, now I'm thinking about it, I think un all Untrap does is just give you something that already exists within the area itself. It doesn't give you anything new. And if that's the case, then maybe Untrap is still useful. Oh, that's just mean. Destroying the green mystery data. Don't need to go to Immortal. Oh, come on. Green Mystery Dale, here's one. No, this is the second one. Zenny, damn. 
Can you come back here? Maybe it will be worth it to bring on traps. Because that just gives me another chance. Okay. I think we need to go up here. Colonel, I did no, no. I'm not fighting Colonel. I don't I don't have anything to prove. Okay, here we go. I don't know how you're supposed to know this. What's wrong, Mega Man? The Psy Beast. I can feel it. Th then that means. M Mega Man! What's going on? It's just data bits from the underground in a Psy Beast shape. Base! I finally have the power of a beast. There is no one in the cyber world who can stop me now. I will destroy the cyber world. D destroy the cyber world? I won't let you. <laughs> There's no way a weakling like you can stop me. If you want to fight me, first you will have to go through him. Show me what you've got. Here it comes. Bow routine set. Execute. Weak fool. Return to the zeros in the and ones you're made of. A fight with Falzar Beast SP. I think Tomahawk is still my go-to. Let's start with getting rid of some chips. It's been a while since we... Oh. I'm not used to this fight. Oh, I would mm. uh, You know what? I want to try to get Boomerang. I'm not used to this fight. But this is basically the equivalent of a Dark Mega Man fight, isn't it? Oh, God! was dangerous. Okay, um... Uh, heal, sure. Okay, you used Boomerang. There go. Honestly, he's not that dangerous. Not that bad. That one move is dangerous, that's for sure. Alright, double base, we got him. This is what fills me with joy. Looks like you can provide me with some fun after all. Let's go. A back to back fight. Oh, uh, okay. This is gonna actually be hard. Please. God, he has the Gregor ahead. All right, well, I'm gonna go Dust, and maybe I could get some program advances going. He has his Gregor move. I forget what it's called, but he has it. Yeah, I forget. Does he use that move? Um. In Gregor, or does he have like the a Falzar head? Uh, I want to look at. Okay, hold on, hold on. HBX. I want to know this. HBX. What would be? It's not Hell's Rolling, Tank Cannon, Life Sword. He still has those moves. It's Burning. Oh, yeah. 
he uh he uses sonic storm no he uses burning breath some of this is actually mixed up he uses burning breath here in Sybe's Falzar. If you play Gregar, he has Falzar's head, Sonic Storm. And it's a wind element. That's actually kind of cool. He did say he got the power of a beast. I'm gonna make a save here. There is actually a lot of differences between Gregor and Falzar that's actually kind of worth playing through both versions. Well, anyway, um... This fight is not as dangerous as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, I need to be careful. better. This is a way better start. So, the Gregar head is always going to be fire elemental. It always will be. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go dust. Sadly, I won't be able to power the... You know what? Actually, let's... He's not going to use the Gregar attack for a turn or two. So let's go ahead and use these up and get the power up. And then I'll swap to this. Risky honey and corn. Ah. Ah. Okay. This is going to be hard. I wonder if reflect would actually be useful. Start the tomahawk. Yeah, I 
I really want to get these boomerangs. Oh no! At least it doesn't crack the tiles. That's me. Come on, what's the... He constantly stopped on those two squares. So Boomerang couldn't hit. Alright, let's try it again. Okay, I want to start with... stops at. Well, that's still 400 damage. And that's not the ideal spot anyway. Kidding me? Okay, I have to. All right. Uh, no. That was me being dumb. again. This is hard. This is hard. Um, uh -huh. Might as well just start with these, I guess. I don't need Tomahawk. So, 
let's start with Boomerang. And I actually don't want a charge shot. Okay. I need to get rid of stuff. Honestly, I'm gonna get rid of these two. does the Gatling move, I really can't do anything. I almost need to have Reflect. Like, I don't... I don't know. Might need to come back with a different strategy. Start with Tomahawk. I gotta be careful. What? Since when? Since when do you do that? You always go Gatling. Go ground. If we go ground. I don't think he could break me out. I don't think the Gatling counts as search. Uh, 
Oh, I missed that. Oh well, it's fine. Fine. health. We can start with Tomahawk. At least for the first turn. for me to go ground. And we'll use these up. That's fine. I'm fine with the counter. Okay, we are about to have fire hit. I have to do this. This has to be done. I thought Drill was going to help, but uh, I almost need to predict where he's going to go. Don't need to power up. We're going dust. We're doing this. Twice and they fired that. One, two. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Go with this. So we move to the back. Add point. Oh, not the 
last time. Seen something. Oh, wait, I'll wait for that. What can I change? I can almost change all these out. Sanctuary, I mean, it could help me. Hmm. I threw in Fast Gauge, replaced one of my air spins. I could throw in Sanctuary. Poison Pharaoh, I don't think will actually help me. I could throw in more Invis chips, that could help me. I am pretty sure all of his attacks deal 200 at the very least. It would save me from the... Uh, it says Pierce Underground? What? So his Gatling... I mean, Life Aura would protect me from the Gatling, but that's it. That's the only thing it would protect me from. If I combine it with Sanctuary, it would protect me from... Uh... The Gatling, the Hell's Rolling, and the Tank Cannon, but that's it. Everything else will deal more damage. But that could be a strategy. That could be a strategy. It would be difficult to set up. But we could try it. Capsule. It's bad I don't... Where's my Invis? Whiskey Honeys, Air Hockey, Fire Hits. Invis, Lyphora. I can have anti navy on the shortcuts, that's insane. But not the combination of these two. It's so close. Because it has to be a combination of 60. Circus Man. Maybe I shouldn't have Circus Man. Hmm. I mean, this would deal less damage, but I wouldn't have to get low. I wouldn't have to line myself up. be hard to hit him, but I can use that. I don't know about Omni Man. No, not Fan Judge Man. Duck. Nah, that's 170. That's not much. No. Dust? No. For 150? Not really. Gr ground, actually. I wouldn't line up with him, and I can maybe deal, hopefully, 300. Right? I think that's right. You know what? Oh, whoops. I meant this one. Okay. Let me double check my chip folder. Because, honestly... Falzar Mega Man is not that hard. Falzar Mega Man is not that hard. 
I have an extra invis chip. We have the Life War Sanctuary combo, and that could help me against base. It will at least help me from with the Gatlings. Tomahawk. Fast Gauge. Boomerang. Invis. If I could get Bodyguard, that'd be nice too. Ah, uh, our friend Fast Gauge. Using roll, 300 damage. Don't need to heal him. Okay. Advance. Some hook. Oh. Alright. Let's see. Don't have life aura. I want dust. And we are gonna use the bees. One. One two. Okay. We can maybe get him with seven hundred. Counter? Hold on. R. S. T. Counter. Then. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize his attack went off. Alright. Okay. We can start with. In this. No, I'm gonna risk it. We're gonna start with Aura. And I think I will use. I wanna use up some of these chips. So we'll have Aura. No, we'll start with In this. Then we'll set up Aura at the very end. Come on! I was just about to get Aura off. It. Dang. Because that Life Aura Sanctuary combo will protect me from three different attacks. That it will be a lifesaver. And I need Fast Gauge just to get chips. We can start with Life Aura. Or we can go with Invis and get Grass Tiles going. It's not the worst idea. I really would like to save Attack Plus 30. I'm not 
charge shotting. Okay. Look at that. Oh my god. I want a life aura. And I still will have in this. Not hurt me with life aura. That move in particular. Let's go ahead and get, use these up. Yeah. Oh, that is perfect. That is perfect. Okay. Okay. Um, boomerang. three times there. Three, but it... Oh, I didn't realize it breaks tiles! Oh no, I didn't realize that. We're gonna get rid of Risky Honey too. ST. I didn't realize it gets rid of tiles. Okay. Hell's rolling. God! Anti-Navi, anti-sword, anti-damage, attacks, plus 30 and 10, program advance, bodyguard. He set up Hell's Rolling. Oh my god, we got him. That was close. Ugh, I give. Deleted that easily. It wasn't easy, dude. It wasn't easy. We won somehow, but no, well, base is base. I'm sure he's still alive somewhere. If base shows up again, I'm sure we'll have to beat him again. Right, Lan? Yeah. Doesn't matter who our enemy is, we'll always win. I mean, when time keeps resetting. Huh? What is this chip? And for that... A batch. Blend hub DNA data with Mega Man. Okay. Let's leave. Alright. I have a lot of money. We still need... The program advance is done. Untraps are... I could go to ACDC for that. Let's just buy some untraps. So... Now that we've beaten base BX, he is a random encounter in Graveyard 2. Same thing with Falzar Mega Man. He's a random encounter in Graveyard 1 now. But I don't think there's any reason to fight either of them now. I don't think there's any reason to do any of those. So... We are missing one Giga Chip, and that's Bug Death Thunder, which we need Bug Frags. And that's 
set for that on, on that end. Yeah, only one ship. Program advances we're going to be working on right now. We're going to use our trap right now before I forget. We're going to underground. Because I don't know what else there is to do. This game is going very quickly. Granted, maybe I... Because normally when it comes to 100% Battle Network, it takes me nearly 20 streams. But we're on stream 12. Maybe I'm just streaming for a little bit longer, getting a lot more done. I don't know. Alright. Underground 1. You know what? Can I get Sneak Run in here? Um, you're able to do something like that just as a temporary placement. I just want sneak run for now. Just to make this easier. Green mystery data. Wave arm 1F. That's not what I'm looking for. It said wave, so I thought that was the chip. I'm like, wait, no, that's not right. It's not wave arm. I don't have Area 1 memorized completely. Alright, green mystery data. Bug fragment, we'll keep it. Alright. Underground 2. No green there. The only thing we can find is the only person we can find is Colonel. Green mystery data. Zenny. Just in case Colonel shows up. There's one more somewhere. Hey, look, it's Colonel. I don't want to actually fight you, even though you're not hard at all. Colonel's actually very easy, very predictable. Down here? There it is. very quick. Central one. Suicide. Okay, underground. Underground one. Wide shot Q, that's what I'm looking for. Wave arm one, bubble star E, and then some Zennies and Bug Fragment. Okay. It's a one in eight chance to get the chip I'm looking for. If Untrap activates, I don't think it gives me an exclusive chip. Normally I would reset, but let's be honest, this is just it's blast man. He's not hard. So yeah, it's a 1 in 8 chance to get Wide Shot Q in Underground 1 Green Mystery Game.
Underground 2, let's see. Light shot R. Oh, that one's from a trap. Okay, so from what I'm understanding, if I'm reading this right, in Area 1, there are no trap mystery games. Area 2, on the other hand, has a trap mystery data. And that is the only way to get wide shot R. And Area 2. You have to use untrap. Okay. But, there's also a chance for corn shot to uh, be obtained. Corn shot 1L. Alright. So. Two green mystery data. Where, where is it? At least I'm not going to find any navvies here. Okay, I missed one somewhere. I know. Bug fragments. I missed a green mystery data somewhere. Where'd it go? Where'd I have it? There's not one down here, no, that isn't good. Where's the other green mystery data? Nothing? I know I only found one. Down here? Okay. Gun sold one, okay. Can you come back here? Let's go ahead and head to Underground 2, where we need Untrap. Over here, do we have... Nope, not there. Up here, nope. There's usually one here, yeah. No, I don't need Longsword. Too bad I can't save in front of it. Because the content it will be the same, I think. Down there. Zenny. Time to go back. Time to go back. Untrap. Back to underground. We only need to untrap for area two. So if we happen to get the chip in area two, but not in area one, then that means we can stop using untraps. So that will help. That's not what I need. Again, it is a 1 in 8. Wait, are the green mystery days just in the same spot? I, I'm pretty sure it, there's a chance it could be in multiple spots, though. Bubble star, not what I need. I need to save so I don't have to fight Colonel. Go. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's normally one up. There can be one there, I think. Or they... I don't know. Untrap activated. Corn shot. Oh. Yeah, different spot. On the sword. I saw that untrap and I'd be like, oh, it's a 50-50. Fifty fifty and failed the roll. Okay. After we get these last two chips. there a chance? Like, I'm trying to figure out what else is there to do. Because after I get these two chips, that should be it in terms of program advances. I should have everything ready to go. And I should be able to get everything else. There's wide shot. Area one's done. I might just grab the other one. Weird. Okay. Well, I got wet shot anyway. I'm happy. Alright. Area 2 it is. Of course we need this one last. Up there. There's one. Untrap. Corn shot. Uh, we need to go back. Let's see. There's still a chance... A chance this will be a virus, I think. Zenny? I mean, I'm, this is a good Zenny. But... Alright, still need to use Untrap, but we could go straight to Underground 2. of the program events is done. At least I think so. We'll find out soon. Because I already bought Uninstall R, and I think that was the last one I needed to get. I could be wrong. Alright. Let's see. Fragment? I mean, I'll take it. I will take it. Second one. Untrap. Horn shot. <sighs> it's a 50 50, and yet I'm failing these coin flips. Failing these coin flips. Stupid. I think this is the last chip I need. So, it's just frustrating. It's always the last one you need that will never show up. It's always the last one. green. 
Untrap activates. I'm gonna let it sit here for a second while the ad plays. And I am going to pull up my program advance list. Let me see. I can do that. I might oh I might not be able to do that. Okay. Hmm. Now that I'm actually looking at this. Maybe I can't do some of these. I'm gonna wait for the ad to end. Twenty seconds. Should be done. I got the white shot R. So now let's start activating program advances and see what I might be missing. We'll just hang out in area one. But I'm gonna need to swap out. Swap this out. Cost of one. Did I have it? That's how I have it. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab... We'll start with the wide shots. P... And I'll, I'm just gonna keep fast gauge. I'm just gonna keep fast gauge. Uh, of course, it's mints. Oh well. Dust. We got one of them already, so let's go ahead and. So that's like, what, 450 damage? So that's okay. It's water elemental. Alright, next. We need... We need... Where is it? Where are you? There's our two. I still have ground man in here. Either way, I'm only using one let's get back. Let's go ahead and weaken that one. this out now. Alright, I could get rid of these. Wait, I could get rid of these four. There we go. L, M, and N. Wait, 
two. 500 damage. It's not bad. Alright. Now we need... Uh, I went too far. Went too far. Where is it? set here. Now it, then it will be the special versions. Dust? And we already have two of them. Let's get rid of all of this right here. Last gauge. Let's go ahead and get rid of these three. R S T. Power Wave Three. Six hundred damage. Okay. Next up. Blade B, Long Blade B, and we need Proto Man SP. Now, if you want to question whether or not I should be able to do this yet, I will go. I'm still planning on fighting Proto Man legitimately, so I'll leave that up to you. Whether or not. I still plan on actually beating Pro Man SP with it, so. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh. So let's get rid of this. Nope. Let's get rid of these three. Let's get rid of Sanctuary. White Blade, Long Blade, Proto Man SP. Program Advance, Double Hero. Just how you remember it. Battle Network 1. Uh, I don't know how much damage it actually does. First of all, let me see. Does it actually tell me? Double hero? Nope, it doesn't tell me. Oh, at least not the site doesn't. Okay. Now here's the real question. First, I need to swap Far Falzar out. And I need base. Obviously, you use your corresponding base one for this. I need... 
I don't, I'm, I'm not 100% sure if I could do this yet. I need V doll. V doll F. I only have one. Okay. I only have one. How do I get the second one? Or where do I get it in the first place? Internet zero blue mystery data. Oh, wait. I see the problem. So, V doll F is a blue mystery data and undernet zero. Obviously, you can only get one of those. program advanced list was a little bit misleading. It said you had to use VDOL Fs, like two of them, but in a single playthrough, you cannot have two. You have to get a star code. It didn't specify that, but I guess if you were to trade with someone else, you could get another F code. But why would you do that to get an F code? Why not just get a second star code? Can do this now. R. Either way, I'm getting rid of three RST. Alright. And I'm gonna use up four. We got one V doll. I should get rid of these three. We got two V dolls. Still waiting on base. Luckily, I could just stand here and do nothing. Still waiting on base. I could get rid of two chips by doing this. I could get rid of three chips by doing this. Thank you, Life Aura. There we go. V doll, V doll, base. We're gonna advance. Dark Messiah. 300 damage, let's see. Okay, it's a little different. It is a little different. But, it serves a similar idea. Meaning if one like, one attack cannot hit in the back row, the other one can. Uh, but it's not a guaranteed, or... Anyway. You could, you can deal 600 damage with that. Honestly, it's not as good as I was hoping. I wasn't expecting, you know... I wasn't expecting the brokenness of the original Dark Messiah, but, you know... It was hilarious. Okay, look. This one I'm actually not sure if I can do. First, I need... Okay, hold on. Okay, 
Risky Honey 3A. I need that. I need... Fire hit 3A. I knew I had that one. Let's get... We'll get rid of Core and Sanctuary. Okay. Aqua Needle 3A. Good, I have it. One more. You know what? I might pass it. Probably pass it. Okay, here we go. Collect Pulse 3. I don't have it. I don't have the last one. Hold on. We could probably fix this. Let's see if it's chip order. Let's see if it's a chip order thing. Because maybe I could just buy it. Collect uh, Pulse. Yeah, I can buy it. I just need the money. Is that the only way to get it? Let's take a look. Is that the only way to get it? Flash bomb, energy bombs, fast bombs. Air hockey, aura head, iron shells. No, we can fight the third variant and get a S rank. Or the rare uh, Pulse Bomb 2 and get S rank it there. But either way, we're probably better off just buying it. Uh, how about we hold off on that one? Let's hold off on that one. I had a feeling that one I probably wasn't able to do. I should be able to do the rest. So in the meantime, uh, I'm just going to get some of these set up. Next up. I don't know where it's at. Where are you? I think I went too far. I still have anti-navy. I need uninstall. I need meteors. And I currently have Proto Man SP. So I need. No, no. So. I have Colonel Star. You don't specifically need to use that one, but you, e you need an SP of either Proto Man or Colonel, and then the star variant of the other one. Let's keep that in mind. Um, and one more. Let's get rid of... No, we'll keep that in mind. I need to find meteors. Where is it? I don't know if it's fire elemental, so I don't know if I should look for that. Alright, we can do two program advances, and then I gotta set up the last one. Anti-Navi Star. I don't care that I got it. It's 10 damage. Okay. There's Colonel. Here is this one. We have Roll. There we go. We can use this up. Okay, not yet. I 
can really only get rid of one ship. Let's do this. Might as well get to max health, because why not? That 10 damage, you know, that little scratch really hurts. Huh? Okay. Uh, Proto Man, SP, Attack plus 30, Colonel Song. You could go Colonel SP, Attack plus 30. Wait, no, 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 that's not right, that's not right. I almost messed that up. Almost messed that up. We don't have it yet. I, I'm getting my program advances confused. I just saw a program in SP. I'm like, oh, we got it. We got it set up. I could get rid of these two risky honeys. It's going to be hard to get rid of the base. So. Base is still the rolling cutter thing. So what? That's like... 320 damage for a single target? Honestly. I'm almost better off with Falzar. Alright. Proto Man. Anti Navi. Colonel. Again. Proto Man SP. Anti Navi. Colonel. Or Colonel SP. Anti Navi. Pro Proto Man Star. Program Advance Twin Leaders. They're not really twins, but whatever. Okay, that's kind of cool. Alright, one more. Well, actually, no, I can do that. get rid of a lot of stuff. I'll make sure to keep meteors there. There we go. Let's get rid of these two. I didn't get rid of attack plus 30, did I? I got rid of attack plus 10, right? Oh, I hope I didn't mess that up. Uh, it's really difficult to get to the base. We could get rid of these. But I can also do this to get rid of all of these. You win? Oh, I'm getting close, Hot Corn Dog. Getting close. We are getting program advances. Well, not done, but mostly done. Oh, I really hope I didn't get rid of that attack plus 30. I might be wasting everyone's time right now. We'll find out. Okay, there's the attack plus 30. I got a little scared there. Let's use these up. What's been going on, Hot Corn Dog? We did a lot of things today. Get rid of these. And I'm looking for uninstall. So we need meteors, attack plus 30, uninstall. I don't know why it's this combination, but here we go. Over advance, sun moon. 200 damage. Let's see. It's a multi obviously. Seven hits for 200 damage each. Oh, make that eight hits for 200 damage each, I think. Doing good, just clocked out of work. Ah, I see. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Uh, I, we're getting close. We are getting very close to finishing this. I got one more program advance right now. Okay. We need Django's. One, two, and three. I kind of want to start putting my folder back to normal, more or less. What, um... I can get rid of meteors. Whiskey honey. Let me get my, my uh, popcorn. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I got rid of my popcorn. Alright, let's see. Let me take a look. I need I should keep this in for now. Boomerangs. Okay, yeah, we're fine. Actually, I'm gonna swap base out with Falzar and then we're good. So right now I got one more program advance that I can do at the moment. And we're, almost, we're getting close. We're getting very close. Oh look, a rare Met. Just what I need. Django, Django. Okay, I have two out of three. Let's go ahead and go this route. Yeah, I had to deal with some tough boss fights. Uh, after getting all the standard chips, we had to fight base SP, which honestly he was that one wasn't that bad. But then I had to go to Underground 2 and have and I had to do a back-to-back -back fight with uh, Beast Out Mega Man. Like, it's just data remains, so it's like a copy. But it's Falzar Mega Man. And a back to back fight with Falzar Mega Man and Base. Base GX, and he was hard. Anyway, Django 1, 2, and 3. Program Advance. I have crossover. I have never seen this one. This one is was cut out. Hmm. Okay. I don't know how to place Django there, but he was in a bad spot. But then they do like the cross slash thing, so that was kind of cool. With that, we have every standard chip, we have every mega chip, one more giga chip, which we need to bu use uh, by bug fragments. Technically, there's two more secret ships, but that requires the cross crossover points, which means online battles, and I kind of said I probably wasn't going to do those. One more program advance. Yeah, we're almost done. We are almost done. We need one more program advance, which I just need a single chip, which I need money for that. Well, I don't need money, but I could just... Because I could buy the chip, I'll just grind for money. Off enemy. So, let me get back here. Let me make a save. I am going to double save because I'm paranoid. Let me think. Still can't believe the pollution is falling off. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Okay. So let me think. One more program advance, which I need to grind for money. One more mega giga chip, which I have to grind for bug fragments for 100. Even though it's not required for 100%, there's three more programs, which I am going to which I need to grind for bug fragments for. I'm not getting the secret chip symbol. I probably won't. I should legitimately beat Proto Man SP and get the chip. Then I think after that, it's the final, the rematch with the final boss and we're done. I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, I did. I didn't realize now was playing. I would have hit snooze. Damn. Hmm. Is there anything else I'm missing? I don't know that. Let me look. Let me look. Foul run rates, no. Beast out. Beast leak gate, beast out back time. Busting level. No. Chip traders. No. Cross system. I'm going to type in those. Minor enemies, bosses, folders, glitches, weak navvies, raw numbers, 
customizer handle types. Power up guide. Quest BBS. Screen dim cut-ins. Shop locations. Side quests. Aspect staff rule. Tile screen marks. Version 2%. Let me look at tile screen marks just in case. Let me double check. Bigger files are standard chip, make a chip, giga chip, program advance, base, the proto man one, piece like gate, which you can't get this one. I think the ads are done. Uh, I'm still making videos, but his comments are filled with. The, uh, I know about the controversy. I know about the controversy, and I know he's still making videos, but the comments are really that bad. Uh, yeah, that's that's uh, not good. So I am double check. I double checked. When it comes to the title screen marks, we need the Giga Chip. We need the program advance. There is, uh, uh, on the second row with the Proto Man one, there's a mark that we cannot get because it's unattainable in Legacy Collection. If I'm correct, it's only possible to do, uh, it's only possible to get it in Japanese GBA to get. I don't even think it's possible to do it in, uh, English GBA. So I think that one symbol is just permanently only on Japanese GBA. And the standard chip and, and the secret chip mark, it doesn't do anything for getting it. And I told, like I said, it's online only. Basically, we need to do online battles just to get the two. So I'm not bothering you with that, and it doesn't do anything. I'm not worried about that. So, from what I understand, what's left? Grind for money to buy the one chip for the last program advance. Grind for bug fragments to get the Giga chip, and I want to get the three Navicus programs, which require bug fragments. It's a lot of bug fragments. Uh, once once I get those done, legitimately beat Proto Man SP and get the Proto Man SP chip. Legitimately. Because remember, I got locked out, and I had to use the... I, I had to use the patch card to get the chips. And then it's refight Falzar for the super hard variant. I think that's it. Just those, like, four things. Grind for money for the last program advance. Grind for bug fragments to get the four things. Refight Proto Man. Then beat the final boss. I think that's it. For completion block? What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean? I... F I think we're gonna be saving all that for tomorrow. But I, wa I wanna know what you mean. But what I'm probably gonna do is, on my own time, I'm gonna do some grinding for bug fragments. I guess for some money, but mostly for bug fragments. Uh, I think I want to grab enough bug fragments on my own time to grab the three Navicus programs. But I think we'll do the grinding for the Bug Death Thunder on stream. I think. The one with switching to the Japanese version. Oh, right, the, the Gun Django 3. Luckily, that's been patched out, so we're not worried about that. We are not worried about that. If you're referring to the title screen mark, uh, there's a title screen mark that's a Beast Link Gate, but that's not even in. They took that out of Legacy Collection. They took that out of English Japanese version because it requires you to have Battle Chip Gate, I think, which was an extra accessory that you connect to, if I understand right. And that was only in Japan. So, to, from what I understand, to get that mark, the only way to get that mark is to 
have a Japanese GBA copy, and you have to have another accessory called the Bow Chip Gate, and you connect with that. So that mark is just unattainable, from what I understand. It's only available in Japanese GBA, I think. But the whole Django 3 swapping a Japanese version, that's been patched out as of now, so that's nice. But yeah. So I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. Thanks for everyone who showed up. Exclusively like that. Yeah, I know. I agree. I agree. Uh, but yeah, thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at Stop Out 64 Stream Archives. Um, tomorrow may or may may actually be the last Battle Network one. Uh, so, again, I'm going to ground for Bug Fragments on my own time so I can get the three Navicus programs. I think it should be, it'll be fair if we grind the Bug Fragments for Bug Death Thunder on stream. And then we get the last program advanced, beat Proto Man, and then refight Falzar. I think that's fair. I don't know about you, but to me that seems fair. Uh, yeah, and then we'll talk. I guess we'll talk about the next game after that's done. By the way, Hot Corn Dog, in the graveyard areas, there's like graves of all the navvies. Uh, it references Battle Chip Challenge and Network Transmission, so both those games are canon. <laughs> So now that means I need to play Net Battle Chip Challenge. Anyway, uh, have a good day. Later.